Talking about the recent drone attacks on two India-bound merchant vessels, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has vowed to hunt down the perpetrators to the depths of the sea. A huge explosion-like sound was heard behind the Israeli embassy yesterday evening at 5.53 pm, however, no explosive was recovered from the spot, and Israeli and Indian authorities are investigating the cause of the explosion. As part of follow-on order for 70 units, the third batch of quick reaction force vehicles from Tartu Advanced Systems is ready for delivery to the Indian Army. Pakistan is constructing a new airfield in Lahore, which is nearly 20 kilometers from the border with India, that could be used for armed drone operations. South Korea has launched a research project to develop a jet engine for its KF-21 stealth fighter jet by late 2030. India has made its first ever payment for crude oil purchases in rupees from the United Arab Emirates. After signing a deal for construction of additional nuclear reactors at the Kudan Kulam nuclear power plant, Indian External Affairs Minister has said that there have been ups and downs in relationships between all countries, but the only constant in global politics has been the ties between India and Russia. Turkey is expected to conduct the first flight of its Khan 5th Gen fighter on 27th December, in which Pakistan has showed interest to participate. With 97 Tejas Mark 1A single-engine aircraft and 120 Tejas Mark II single-engine fighter jet orders are in the pipeline, the Indian Air Force is considering barring foreign aircraft manufacturers that are offering single-engine fighters in the 114 MRFA competition, a decision that could impact American offer of F-16 and Swedish Gripen, that will leave them out of the bidding process. The Indian Air Force intends to issue a stringent request for proposal, that will also exclude Russian fighters like the MiG-35 and Su-35 from the competition, leaving the field open to three contenders, that includes the Rafale Eurofighter Typhoon and F-15EX variant, however, the Defence Ministry could intervene and reinstate the Russian offers. After integrating the 32 km range Israeli spike non-line of sight anti-tank guided missile on its semi-17 V-5 helicopters, the Indian Air Force is planning to arm it on the Apache attack helicopters. This development comes after the successful test firings of the 6th generation spike non-line of sight anti-tank guided missile from US Army's Apache helicopters earlier this year, and now the Indian Air Force has decided to follow suit. The Spike NLOS can launch and control up to four missiles simultaneously from a single platform, overwhelming enemy defenses with a swift and coordinated attack. The Indian Air Force operates 50 Mirage 2000 fighter jets, and it plans to keep them operational till 2035. As per latest reports, the Air Force is planning to procure twin-seater variants of additional Mirage 2000 aircraft that will replace the aircraft lost in accidents. The strategy of acquiring used airframes from other countries has proven cost-effective, as it will help maintain the desired squadron strength to face emerging threats in the region. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said, that it is expected to secure a contract for three additional Scorpion submarines for the Indian Navy by the end of 2024, and the first submarine delivery will happen in 2031. These three follow-on Scorpion submarines will be advanced versions of the existing six Scorpion submarines, that will feature indigenous air independent propulsion system, and will replace several outdated subsystems with newer technologies. Today's top three comments.